Welcome back for another edition of Live at Five. I'm Lance Jenkins. And I'm Kelsey Rushing. Well, the Rich Observer team is very, very excited tonight. The Rich Observer announced today that it has tapped Jimmy McDonald as its new sports photographer. Now, I know most of you know Jimmy real well. McDonald's other photography work you may have seen before in downtown Rockingham restaurant Patton's Grill where his photos of landmarks in the Richmond County area line the walls. He also owns his own photography business, Jimmy McDonald Photography. For more information about that business, visit jmacphoto.com. I'll tell you something. Um, Jimmy McDonald, one of the best photographers I have ever seen. And it, it's just a fine addition to the Richmond Observer. I've actually thought about going to college for photography at some point, personally. Ha have you? Yeah, well, I'll oh, tell yeah. you something. Uh, I don't know if Jimmy McDonald went to college photography or not, but I can tell you one thing. Uh, he's one of the best I've ever seen. Great addition with the Rich Observer. I can't of course, wait to see. yeah, he's going to be mainly doing sports photography. Okay. Um, but everybody's seen his work. Everybody knows how good it is. And to have him on board, uh, a tremendous, tremendous asset uh, for the Richmond Observer as well as the Live at Five team. Of course, the first work we'll see him do will likely be uh, Raiders football, which, of course, got started on its scrimmage last night. So. Very excited to see Jimmy McDonald and his work. Now for tonight's top story. The Rockingham City Council, led by Mayor Steve Morris, held its monthly meeting for August on Tuesday night at City Hall in downtown Rockingham. Mayor Pro Tem John P. Hutchinson, Councilwoman Ann Edwards, Councilman Bennett Dean, Councilwoman Denise Sullivan, and Councilman A. Eugene Willard addressed a variety of city-based issues without much resentment. Before the council got down to business, Morris recognized two citizens with the city's Community Service Award. Ruth Robinson was recognized for her years of service as a member of the Rockingham Historic Preservation Board, and F. Brent Neal, a longtime attorney in Rockingham, was also applied for his outstanding service to the city, having been actively involved in the community for 40 years. In additional community news, Councilman Dean nominated Jamie Lambeth to fill the vacancy of the extraterritorial jurisdiction seat on the city's Planning and Zoning Board. She is a Geographic Information System Specialist for the U.S. Department of Agriculture and will be a great addition. The Council also closed a resolution authorizing the condemnation to acquire certain easements of property owned by Samuel L. Whiteley Construction Company, Incorporated. After terms between the two were not able to be agreed upon, Councilman Dean also said the city always does its best to have issues like this resolved. City Manager Crump informed those in attendance that a recent hiccup in a wastewater treatment plant project has been resolved. The project was authorized by the state and will provide power to the main pumps that go to the PD River. Crump stated that the authorization for the expansion project will benefit local industrial companies. And that concludes the rundown of the Rockingham City Council meeting. Richmond County Community College is hosting nonprofit specialist Sam Gore for a free seminar at the Cole Auditorium. This event will be held on Thursday, August 17th from 9 a.m. to noon, and Gore will be presenting a three hour seminar to cover how to develop community support by utilizing volunteers so your nonprofit can reach its full potential. Gore is a 17-year veteran presenter for the Small Business Network of the North Carolina Community Colleges. In 2000, he had assistance from a small business center that helped him with starting his own business. And now he is the founder, president, and executive director of Towards a Fruitful Ministry Incorporated, which is an organization dedicated to assisting nonprofits to reach their full potential. Over the course of one year, Gore conducts about 70 to 80 seminars and encompasses all phases of nonprofits, from new startups to the revitalization of existing ones. He aids organizations to develop functional structures that works best for their success. To pre register, contact Workforce and Economic Development Program Director Anjanique Gillenwater at 910 410 1848 or AJ Gillenwater at richmondcc.edu. Pre registration is recommended. However, walk-ins are welcome. I'll tell you, you know, actually, Anjanique Gillenwater is actually on the kickball team I'm on. Uh, I remember you coming back with all that mud on your shoes when after, like, right after we set it up. Yeah, that's right. It was it was this past week. Yeah, very serious. I mean, we're a very serious team. Um, we have not lost a game yet this season, um, and so uh, Anjanique's been a big part of that. I've been a big part of that. The Rockingham Police Department. We we're we're, we're a team. Last we're, time I played kickball, I always lost because they always aimed for my face. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> well, anybody who knows anything about our kickball team knows what I just said isn't true. We've won one game this season, but we've had a great time nonetheless. Folks, when we come back, we will be entertained, and I'm just really excited about it. I'm a huge pro wrestling fan. Cruz Biddle of Carolina Wrestling Entertainment is in the studio to talk about this Saturday's Pro Wrestling Benefit Show for former Sheriff's Deputy Dan the Man McKinnis. Stay tuned for the interview when we come back. 
Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is a specialty retail store in downtown Rockingham in the heart of Richmond County. We are all about rustic farm style home decor and gifts. We offer a variety of antique, vintage, and new items. We love helping you make your house a home with unique one-of-a-kind finds. We also have specialty gifts for all occasions. back to live at five and we are live in the studio right now with Cruz Biddle who will be in wrestling action this upcoming weekend. Yes, sir. Cruz, glad to have you here. Yeah, it's glad to be here. Um, really enjoying the Richmond Observer. Glad to be here and um, share this time with you. So. Well, it's great. Well, it's a big, big show coming up. First yes, off, I am a big pro wrestling fan. Uh, no doubt about that. I've always been a big pro wrestling fan and we got a lot of big pro wrestling fans in this area. And we got a show coming up this Saturday. Tell us yes, about sir. it. Yes, sir. We are doing a uh, benefit wrestling show for Dan McKinnis. He's a former Richmond County deputy um, that unfortunately had to retire due to several medical reasons. He um, has had many financial hardships, so we are giving back to him in a community that he loves dearly. So. Yeah. And see, I'm not from here originally. I've only lived here for less than a year, but I've heard a lot good about Dan McKinnis. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I've always, he was a sheriff's deputy, is that yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And how long was he uh, with the sheriff's department? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to give you exact. Yeah. I don't really know right. the part. Uh, I know it was several years, yeah. and uh, he went from everything from detective and so forth. He was just a hardworking deputy. Just yeah. loved the community. Right. So, And, of course, uh, your crew's biddle in action this, this yes. upcoming. Yes, Do you sir. know who your opponent is? Yet? Yes, sir. Um, me and a couple guys named Pitbull and... The Prince James Turner will be taking on a guy named Dino James, the outlaw, and a group called ACDC, the Atlantic Coast, Atlantic Coast Destruction Crew. So is this a tag team or the triple tag team? It's a six-man tag. Six-man tag, yeah. okay. Um, where they are to self-proclaim good guys going against the bad guys, I guess, as people refer to us. I've always been a big fan of the heel. Of the heel. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a huge fan of the heel. I mean, when I watch WWE... Or anything, always pull for the heel. Oh yeah, you have to. You have to. We're, we're the toughest ones in the ring. We're the best. So. Right. Well, let me ask you. So, do you usually play the, the part of the heel? I do. I enjoy going out there and getting the fans involved. Whether it's uh, picking on them, calling them things like diaper stains or mm -hmm. whatever it may be, <laughs> right. I go out there and try to get them involved. Because when I was coming up uh, watching Wahoo McDaniel oh, and yeah. uh, some of the um, older wrestlers, uh, I remember getting involved. I mean, so mad at the wrestlers, you just wanted to go in there and. Go after him. That's so. right. My grandfather used to stand in front of the TV and just kind of punch just like that. <laughs> and like, I mean, while the match was going on, nothing was going to happen. Of course. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm a huge fan of pro wrestling. Of course, pro wrestling show coming up this Saturday night right here in Richmond County. Tell us where it's going to be. It's going to be at the Rockingham National Guard Armory um, on Rockingham Road. Um, the doors open at 6 p.m. Uh, bell time's at 7 p.m. Uh, tickets are $5 a piece, and kids six and under are free to get in. Uh, we do have a sponsor, Modern Woodsman, that has actually paid for the first 100 tickets. So. Oh, that's fantastic. So, so the first 100 there will get in at no cost. No cost, absolutely free. Wow. Now, we will still gladly accept any donations because 100% of the proceeds 
we'll be going to Dan. So absolutely, yeah. It sounds like Dan's uh, been a really big part of the community for a long time. Yes, yes. Uh, and it'll be so. And, and not not only is the match coming up this Saturday mm-hmm. and, and the card, but we're also going to have a meet and greet. Yes. Throughout the whole afternoon. Yes, sir. Um, where are the meet and greets going to be? Yes, sir. The first meet and greet will be at the Hive, and that'll be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. That'll feature uh, different wrestlers like the Wildcat, the Great Tigger, Big Mac, and uh, Strip of Bacon. This is, this is I like manager. that name. We yes. just talked about Bacon yesterday <laughs> on the show. Yeah. Um, but th- they will be there. Uh, I think there's a few birthday parties going on, but they are still, we're encouraging everybody to go out and support the Hive. Then we have uh, Freedom Fitness from 1 to 3 with Dino James and ACDC. That will be out there from 1 to 3 with the, the people be able to come in and meet them and talk to them. And then from uh, 3 to 4, we have... Uh, Different people going to Twisted Treats there in Rockingham also. Yeah, that's, a lot of that's right in the same area. You're right, and right. We're trying to consolidate it right now. Right, area. yeah. So you'll be able to go. And, and, and what's the cost for getting into the meet and greet? Uh, it's absolutely free. We encourage you to just come out and support the businesses here in Richmond County. Wow, fantastic. So, and of course, you know, this area is really rich in wrestling history. I mean, Andre the Giant, right in Ellerby. home right there in Ellerby. Yes, sir. A big fan of Andre. Of course, he was a heel for most yes, of his career. Yes, well, uh, well, towards the end of his career. Yes. So, especially, you remember WrestleMania three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, uh, Andre Giant. That was probably the biggest match of all time. I mean, if you really oh, yes. get down to it. And, and pro wrestling, that, that's a big deal in this mm-hmm. area. Slam her around the world, right? The big old body slam. That that's right. Andre. I won't ever forget that. And that's still played to this day mm-hmm. on, on WWE Network, television. Uh, you still see that all over the yes, world sir. today. That, yes, that, sir. That iconic image. So... Um, People can expect a family-friendly show yes. uh, this Saturday. Tell us about that. Um, it's very family-friendly. It's old-school type wrestling. There's no cu- no profanity, no cussing, no vulgar moves. So you don't have to worry about covering you know children's ears or eyes or anything mm-hmm. like that. It's something that we do try to get the kids involved with. You know, cheering and booing and just getting them involved and making them feel special. That's very important. Fantastic. So it's going to be a big show coming. Mm-hmm. I got to ask you, Cruz Biddle here, live with us in the studio. Cruz, who's the who's the pro wrestler that you have kind of immortalized in your mind? Who's who's always been your idol growing up? Um, when I was growing up, I was a huge fan of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh yeah, I absolutely loved Rowdy Roddy Piper. Um, but I had the opportunity to actually meet and um, be with uh, when I was wrestling with the Italian Stallion when he first was oh, running yeah. around here. I had the opportunity to meet Wahoo McDaniel mm-hmm. and. Just the way he presented himself as a gentleman the whole time, the way he would talk to people, it was very professional, mm-hmm. and uh, he cared about the fans. How, how long have you been wrestling? Uh, I started training at 13 years old, and wow. I wrestled my first match at 15 with the Italian Stallion. How about that? And um, been going mm-hmm. ever since. Well, fantastic. Yeah, that, that's, it's going to be a big time. Uh, this Saturday night, mm-hmm. uh, doors open at 6 p.m. and mm-hmm. bell times at 7 p.m. How many matches on the card? Um, right now, it's looking like we're going to start off with a um, Dan McKinnis Battle Royal at the very beginning. Oh, wow. Um, Battle Royal. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're actually going to start with. We have three different organizations that have come in to do this show. We have uh, the CW, which is Carolina Wrestling Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have several superstars uh, from Dino James to King Payne to the Wildcat. Then we have RWC out of Fayetteville. Mm-hmm. And that's Nightstick Eddie Brown. We have Hang Time and a few of his guys coming in. And then we also have Adrenaline Wrestling with Justin Lee from Moore County that's come in. So we're looking at anywhere from 8 to 10 matches. We're just waiting to that's see. That's a huge card. Yeah, very big card. It's going to be a lot of action. And, uh, and a lot of things, a lot of times at these shows, there's a lot of talking involved, a lot of promos. There's going to be no promos. It's just going to be straight wrestling, straight action for the people. Wow, see, I, I like that. You know, I, yeah. I, I like when you get to see real – wrestling because mm-hmm. some of the promotions especially local independent promotions they'll have five or six matches and that's they'll call it a night but eight to ten matches mm-hmm. that is a big card yes sir yes uh, sir we uh wanted to go all out for dan and really get back to the community as well as we're doing it so oh, that's fantastic and remind everybody where it is again it's going to be at the rockingham national guard army on rockingham road um, and like I said, doors open at six, but with the first hundred people, I'd probably tell you to be there about 30 minutes early if you could. I think yeah, that's a pretty big incentive to get there <laughs> yes, early. Sir. And folks, uh, again, this upcoming Saturday night, doors open at 6 p.m., uh, bell time at 7 p.m., eight to 10 matches on the card. If you're a pro wrestling fan, uh, come out and support former Sheriff Deputy uh, Dan McKen, Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan the man <laughs> McKinnis uh, for a very fun night of action, family-friendly environment. Hey, it's always a pleasure. Yes, sir. And uh, it was good to see you. Cruise Biddle. Certainly. We, we would love to have the Richmond Observer there as well. And well, fantastic. We're a big supporter of them. Well, the Richmond Observer will be there. Well, we thank you. We look forward to it. We yes, look sir. Forward to come out and support Dan McKinnis this upcoming Saturday night. 
Uh, and for, where can they go for more information, or who can they call? Um, they can, if they would like to, they can go to CWE. It's Carolina Wrestling Entertainment on Facebook, and they can get any more information from there, or they can look up Cruz Biddle on Facebook. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Fantastic, folks. Come out for wrestling action this Saturday night and support Richmond County's own Dan McKinnis. We'll be right back after these messages. I'm Kelly, I worked at Champion Ford for two years. Six years. Three years. One year. I've been at Champion Ford for 13 years. One whole year. 15 years. I'm Jamie, I've been at Champion Ford for 12 years. I've been here eight years. Champion prices, champion service, champion experience. It treat you like a champion today at Champion Ford. Just down the road from my prices, championfordlincoln.com. We are Champion Ford. Family Pharmacy has been serving Richmond County since April 2007, and we have enjoyed getting to know our customers since then. We take our jobs very seriously, and we'll do whatever we can to make sure you have what you need. Come visit us on Fayetteville Road in Rockingham, and we will treat you like family. The Richmond County Chamber of Commerce Nominating Committee is now seeking nominations for the 2018 Board of Directors. Four board seats with three-year terms each are now open. The Chamber Nominating Committee will hold their first meeting on Wednesday, August 30th. The committee will take into consideration the following divisions, merchandising, retail, and wholesale, manufacturing and service, including professionals. Richmond County Soil and Water Conservation District is now accepting applications for disaster recovery funds. These funds will cost share on agricultural pond repairs, non-field farm road repairs, and stream debris removal that is related to Hurricane Matthew damages. The opportunity to apply for these funds closes on Friday, September 1st, so be sure to act quickly. To apply for assistance, visit Kelsey Lovin at the Richmond Soil and Water Conservation Office in the Richmond County Ag Center. The Richmond Senior High Raiders started their preseason last night in a scrimmage against Cape Fear High School in Fayetteville. The Raiders scored twice, got inside the five-yard line an additional two times, and only allowed Cape Fear High School to score one time. It'll be interesting to see how the Raiders do as the season continues. They'll scrimmage again this Friday night and open their regular season on the road next Friday, August 18th, against Ronald Reagan High School in Forsyth County. Tonight we have a special thank you from Richmond County Schools Director of Student Services, Dr. Wendy Kelly Jordan, United Way Executive Director, Michelle Parrish, and Rockingham Walmart Store Manager, Brian Ford. They want to say thank you for the participation of the local community and individuals in Richmond County Schools for the Stuff the Bus campaign and School Tools Drive. The ninth annual Stuff the Bus campaign will take place on Friday, August 25th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Walmart parking lot. A Richmond County school bus will be on site ready to be filled with school supplies for students in our county. They will also be offering sponsorship opportunities for local businesses and individuals. With the sponsorship, or your organization's name will be featured on one of the bus windows. The bus will also be outside of the Raider Stadium for the first home football game on August 25th. For more information or questions, please call Dr. Wendy Jordan at 910-582-5860 or contact her by email at wendyjordan at richmond.k12.nc.us. And now for our crime news. Hamlet made two arrests this week. Tammy Castillo for simple affray and resisting a public officer. The second arrest was Courtney Maynard for larceny of a motor vehicle. However, Police did recover the vehicle in Laurenburg. Other than that, all is still fairly quiet in Richmond County. And that's a wrap for tonight's edition of Live at Five. Kelsey, always a pleasure. Oh, always. I actually want to take this time to thank Jeanette Melvin for the jacket I'm wearing today because she's a wonderful person and so is her husband. Jeanette Melvin, a big thank you. Um, right. She's a wonderful person. So, uh, And, and one, one final reminder, too, before we close out tonight's Live at Five edition. You can always, first off, go to richmondobserver.com or the Richmond Observer iPhone Android app and tune in to Live at 5 every night, Monday through Friday, on one of your devices. And we appreciate you joining us again tonight. Remember, this Saturday night, August the 12th, 
6 o'clock p.m. doors open, 7 o'clock bell time. Carolina Wrestling Entertainment and other wrestling promotions coming together for a benefit for Dan the Man McKinnis. Folks, come out $5 tickets. It's all going to a great cause. First 100 people get there, uh, they will be free. They'll get in free. So come out for it, a great show to benefit a great cause. Dan the Man McKinnis. What you going to do when the show for Dan the Man McKinnis runs wild on you? The words of Hulk Hogan. So long. We'll see you tomorrow night for another edition of Live at Five.